Hello genealogists, it's Craig, and I'm dressed up because I just gave a lecture on Civil War medical records to the Butler County Genealogical Society. It's in Ohio. So much fun. Focused way too much on North Carolina. I wonder why. I'm going to have to fix that talk so it's got a little few more Yankees in it. I talked to somebody today, and he wanted me to discount a book for him. He thought it was too expensive, and I just can't do that. Uh, it's just not my style because if I do it for one, I have to do it for t at least 25 other people. So I figured out a way that I could do that. And the way that I could do that was talk about the book on just genealogy. I have more fun than you can imagine doing this stuff. So we've got this author. His name's David Broom, and he's a retired Navy commander, and he likes boats and ships. And I don't mean boats in the form of submarines. I mean boats smaller and um, minesweepers I guess minesweepers are ships anyway what do I know I was only in the Navy for 20 years trust me I didn't spend 20 years on a ship only about six or seven months but anyway he's done a lot of books on navies and I'm by navies I mean the American Navy the Australian Navy the British Navy the Korean Navy a lot of books and they're all good they're well written and I talked about him a while back because he did a book on runners called Toe the Mark with that's his most recent book but one of his most popular books especially as a Christmas gift just saying you know Christmas in July is his book on the gun line during the Vietnam War there were 270 U.S. Navy and four Royal Australian warships that served at various times on the gun line. And the gun line basically was just offshore of North Vietnam and Vietnam. And with this armada of ships was the battleship New Jersey, 10 cruisers, 212 destroyers, 50 destroyer escorts, and an inshore fire support ship, the Carronade. When necessary, naval guns poured out round after round until their barrels overheated and turned red, their exterior paint blistered, and the rifle barrel liners were worn smooth. Allied troops locked in battle with the North Vietnamese Army or Viet Cong troops in South Vietnam were grateful for artillery support from the sea. When North Vietnam launched the Easter Offensive across the DMZ in 1972, eight to ten ships in line abreast, firing often simultaneously and around the clock delivered desperately needed fire support. At one point, over 40 cruisers and destroyers were serving together on the gun line. Warships included Sea Dragon and linebacker operations, naval bombardment of military targets along the coast of North Vietnam, came under fire on various occasions, runs in to within five miles of the hostile shore to strike, then in Haiphong and other tar targets often preceded duels with shore batteries. Most action occurred at mission completion as the ships zigzagged while racing seaward at high speed to clear the coast, to throw off the aim of enemy gunners. And this book highlights the grit, determination, and heroism of these, of these young sailors, many who would likely have preferred the laid-back lifestyle of the 60s were it not for their country's call to arms. This book is full of photographs, maps, diagrams, appendices, a bibliography, and an index to full names, places, and subjects. Now, the reason we sell so many of these is because there were so many Navy men on the gun line. And they like to be, I guess, I don't know, reminded of what they did. I'm not sure that they actually need to be reminded. But I've always thought that some people were buying this to, to give to people because they were on the gun line. Short one tonight. I'm tired. What we're going to do is we're just going to use a discount code of gun line and it will be 20% off. By the way, um, if, if there's a book that you want me to talk about because you want a discount, all you need to do is ask, just like this person did. Because sometimes... I have long winded things to say, and those take planning. And I actually have two new talks I have to put together by day after tomorrow. So I don't have time, but I still have time for you. 
because this is just genealogy, where we're converting people doing genealogy into genealogists day by day. And we have some, this you might not consider to be a genealogy book. I do. It's got names of people, it's got dates, and it's got places. And that's what genealogy is all about. See you tomorrow.